The story and kata of Ai Kai. The Egg Boy. In the past, Wat Chetty used to be an abandoned monastery that all villagers did not dare to enter. At an earlier time, Ai Kai was a disciple that followed a revered Buddhist monk Luang Phor Thuat of Wat Chang Hai Temple, a famous monk from the south of Thailand who returned from Ayutthaya after a pilgrim's journey and came to shelter in that area. When Luang Phor Thuat arrived at that place, he found out that the monastery would be an excellent and precious Buddhist religious site. Therefore, he ordered, Ai Kai, to guard and protect the area. Some legends say while Ai Kai was guarding the property, he used to play around the temple since then. Unfortunately, he accidentally fell into the water pool and drowned. After his death, his spirit was attached to that monastery area to protect the property until today. In 1957, the monastery was renovated and developed. The people who stayed overnight began to encounter strange things by seeing children running and playing in the temple area. And when they looked for it, they couldn't find it. The following day, locals heard about their miserable night, a spirit they said had protected the grounds for hundreds of years since the late Ayutthaya period. They said it was occasionally spotted in the form of a boy, about nine years old, running naked around the temple. Pulling their arms and legs, knocking their heads, and touching their guns, convinced some very mischievous spirit was at play. Events like this happen all the time. On a special occasion, the official of the Communist Party sent about a hundred rangers to temporarily settle at Wat Chetty, when it was still in the movement of the Communist Party at that time. Wat Chetty was still an eerie place where the same situation happened. When the Communist armies were about to sleep, they felt that children were pulling their legs or arms, hitting their heads, or touching the gun, making them unable to sleep all night. In the morning, the Communist armies asked the villagers around Wat Chetty and told them about the incident that had happened to them. The villagers knew the story of Ai Kai. Therefore, they had given the solution. Before having their meal, they must offer it to Ai Kai by calling his name. After that, the communist armies did as the villagers suggested. They could then sleep pleasantly with no disturbances from that time. Those who came to stay overnight at Wat Chetty did not take any action to ensure the spirituality by asking for excuses, forgiveness, or pardon from the spirit residing there they would not be able to sleep and would be disturbed all night. Some stories have been passed on for many generations that the present Wat Chetty Temple is believed to have a child spirit residing there. Around the year 1982, a master nicknamed Archon Tiong was a magician with dark magic in that era. One night a vision of a naked child came to him and said, please care for me. So I can have a place to stay. Later on, Archon Tiong carved a statue image of the boy, by Tikian Wood. According to the vision he had seen, and consulted for than Tom, the abbot, that they should give the child statue name engaged to the temple. Therefore, the original name was Aikai, a southern term and name used to refer to the small kids Aikai, egg boy. At present, Aikai, a child at Wat Chetty, features a wood carving depicting a boy aged nine, dressed in a camouflage military uniform and wearing dark glasses, which comes from artifacts brought by the faithful villagers to vow. Thus, the original name of Ai Kai Wat Chetty is placed together with the temple name. In the earlier time, in the village, if anyone had trouble with losing their belonging, they would light incense, and ask Ai Kai for help to find it, which was always successful. As a result, many devotees from the village come and offer worship and pay respect to Ai Kai. By believing that anyone who comes to pray with Ai Kai with faith will always succeed is hoped for a job, ask for wealth. This made the reputation of Ai Kai Wat Chetty became famous everywhere. There are many sculptures, drawings, and statues in the temple today to support the public's faith that flows more, and more every day. Many devotees come to pray to Ai Kai for anything. Suppose you have made a wish. Pay homage to Ai Kai for his blessing. Remember to bring the items as promised to repay and thank Ai Kai when it comes true. How to worship, Aikai Wat Chetty, with your amulet or statue. Not everyone travels to pay respects and worship Aikai at Wat Chetty Temple. But many have bought the amulets of Aikai to carry with them or worship his statue at home. For the method of worshipping Aikai. There are rules and things that must be prepared as follows. 
Place him on a shelf lower than the Buddha statue. Facing east or north. Do not place him under the stairs, don't face him toward the bathroom or kitchen. Always keep the altar clean. Vase with flowers. Use one incense stick and one pair of candles. Offerings prayer plates and glasses, which must be separate from kitchen utensils. Offerings include sweets, fruit, red Fanta drink, water, children's military uniforms, toys, etc. Choose to offer on Buddhist holy days, Tuesday or Saturday. First, you should have faith and trust the process. By having faith and trust, things will eventually work out in their own time. To pray to the I Kai amulet or statue, light only one incense stick with two candles, and pray to the triple gem. Recite the mantra of Namo Tassa for the Lord Buddha and then chant the kata to worship I Kai with the following. Before chanting, concentrate on your mind. Call the name of, I Kai Wat Chedi, and chant the incantation for one. Three. Five. Seven or nine according to your faith. Iti, Iti. Kuman Kai Jedi. Ja Maha Te Ro. La Pa, La Pa. Pawan to me. After that, start praying to I Kai to fulfill your wish, request a desire at a time, decide what you want, and say it clearly. Then ask I Kai, please accept, that is, just say so, and within how long to fulfill. The most important thing to worshipping Aikai is to hold on to the truth. Remember to state how you plan to thank him in return when your wish has come true. How to worship Aikai at Wat Chedi Temple Suppose praying for making wishes to Aikai at Wat Chedi Temple. First, you should have faith and trust the process. By having faith and trust, things will eventually work out in their own time. For those who worship Aikai in the temple, buy flowers, incense sticks, candles, and gold leaves according to your faith before lighting, light three incense sticks and candles. Pray to the triple gems. Recite Namo Tassa three times to the Lord Buddha, then continue with the following prayers. Iti, Iti, Kuman Kai Jedi, Ja Maha Te Ro, La Pa, La pa, pa wan to me. Then make your wish with determination. If you would like to ask for help, it is recommended you calm yourself down before you start praying. Decide what you want, and say it clearly. If you have fulfilled your wish, you must pay homage to Ai Kai for his blessing and remember to offer red Fanta drinks, fruits, flowers, and the items promised to repay and thank Ai Kai. The next kata is the incantation to worship Aikai Wat Chedi if you have fulfilled your wishes. And tell Aikai Wat Chedi that you have brought the items as promised to pay homage to him for the blessing, then continue with the following prayers. Arahang Samma Samputho Pakkawa Puttang Pakkawantang Apiwate Mi Sawakato พระคะวะตาธรรมโมธรรมังณมัสสามิสุปฏิปันโนภะคะวะโตสาวะกะสังโฆสังขังณมามินะโมตัสสะภะคะวะโตอะระหะโตสัมมาสัมพุทธัส